Hello everyone, this is Geeta Priya from RMB Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be discussing about TCM and DCM. So, in DVMS, we are having uh, uh, various languages. They are data definition language, data manipulation language, transaction control language, and data control language. So, in this lecture, we will be concentrating only on TCL and DCL, that is transaction control and data control language. So the first one, transaction control language. In this, we will be having three commands. One is commit, rollback, and then stay point. So commit is nothing but so whatever the transaction we are doing. If you are giving commit, it means that you are permanently saving the changes or you are saving the transaction. And then rollback in sense, whenever you are giving rollback in your transaction, so it will be rollback or it will be going back to the last commit point that is last time where you saved the transaction and save point in sense instead of commit wherever you are okay with uh, giving a save point that is up to this it's okay or kind of temporary uh, saving kind of thing so whenever you are giving save point you can roll back to the particular save point so we'll be discussing that in a detailed manner so comment command so this is the uh, syntax for commit command and for rollback, rollback is a syntax. And for save point, we will be having the keyword save point and save point name. And also when you are using the rollback for save point, you will be giving a syntax as rollback to the save point name. So consider this example. So in the first example, you are having uh, 10 lines of query or 10 lines of transaction. In line 2, you have used the commit command that means that up to line 2 you have saved the changes permanently so in the up to line 10 you are okay with but at the line 10 you are giving the rollback command so rollback command will be taking back you to the line 2 that is last time where you used the commit so this is your commit and rollback coming to save point and rollback so you are the same as example 1 the line 2 you have used the commit command but after that at line 5 you are having a save point s1 and in line 8 you are having a save point s2 so these are the two kind of stoppings you can say so two save points you are having and whenever you want to go back to the particular line you will be using the rollback command so rollback to s1 this command will be taking you back to the line 5 suppose in the uh, Thing you are giving rollback to S2, rollback to S2 will be taking you to the line 8. So, this is your commit rollback and commit save point and rollback. In the same example, if you are not specifying any save point, instead of rollback to S1, you are specifying only rollback, it will be rolling back to the line 2. That means you are not going to any specific save point. You are just rolling back. That rollback will be taking you to the last commit statement or transaction. So another example. So in this query, we have created a table, the name student, with the attributes of ID, name and city. So after this, you have started a transaction. So whenever you are uh, starting or using the commands of TCL, you will be starting with the start transaction. So after this, it means that your transaction has been started. So you have inserted two values. So the ID 101 and 102. So this is your current table after this particular insert statement. After that, you are giving a save point S. Yes. So after this two row, you have set a save point. After the save point, you are inserting another two rows, 103 and 104 ID. So now, when you are roll back to save point S, yes, it means that after this two row itself, you have given a save point. Now you are going to roll back to the save point S. Yes. So till 104, you have completed. But after inserting till 104, you are again roll back to the previous save point that is S. Yes. It means that it is up to the ID 102. So now, when you are selecting uh, that is select start from student you are going to view all the records of the student it will be shown only with the two rows the last inserted two rows will not be shown because you are rolled back to the save point yes where it is up to two records alone so 
this is your uh, command rollback and save point commands from transaction control language. So the next one is your data control language. Here you will be uh, having only two commands. One is grant, the other one is revoke. So here data control in sense, we are going to uh, in the first command grant. Uh, for example, I am having a table uh, employee. For that employee table, I am the only authorized person to access the data or whatever the update or whatever the thing I am going to do. So now, I want to give the permission to one of my employee to access the data from the particular table or to insert, update or delete something. So now, I want to provide the authorization to other person, then I will be going to the command called grant. So grant command will be providing the permission to other person to access the table. So that is your grant. So the query is grant insert on employee to employee one. That means that your yeah, grant is a keyword here. Insert is a what is the operation that you are permitting for that particular person. That is in this query only insert is allowed to the particular person. On which table? Employee table to whom employee 1. So grant is a keyword. Insert is an operation that is given uh, permission to do. On table name is employee to which person employee 1. So this employee 1 will be allowed to access the table employee only for inserting the data. He cannot uh, delete the records there. He can only insert the record. And also uh, see the query to here grant select update on employee to the username. So here this user will be allowed to access the table, table employee and here the operations are select and update. He can view whatever the data present in the table and also he can update the records but he cannot insert a new record or he cannot delete a record from the table. So this is your grant. Now the second command is revoke. Uh, revoke is nothing but so I have granted permission for a uh, another person to access my table. Now, I want to get back the permission means you will be using the command revoke. So, here the query is revoke select on student from username. Or uh, example, you can also take the table name as employee. So, see the query to the query to we have uh, given permission to username for the table employee for select and update. So, now I want to uh, revoke the select from the uh, username means I will be going with the revoke select name on you can take this as employee instead of student from username so now this username will be allowed only to update the data and not for viewing the data that is select has been revoked from the user so this is your grant and revoke from data control language and this is about your uh, TCL and DCL.